Last week, I called up a company to launch a complaint about their bad service. But to my surprise, the lady answering the phone didn't apologize or take any form of responsibility, but instead started a blame game, blaming that one for the mistake, then this one for the mistake, and it went around and around. And I finally hang up wondering, is this company really deserving my commitment in the future? When we represent an organization, and even more so in leadership, we will face situations where things just went wrong and an apology is needed. It is very hard to apologize for our own mistakes, isn't it? But probably even harder to apologize for someone else's mistakes. In his book, When Sorry Isn't Enough, Gary Chapman teaches us that there are five different ways how people receive apology the best. He calls it the five languages of, of apology. An effective apology should probably include all the five languages of apology. Well, let's look at it, what it really is. Number one is expressing regret. And you can express regret with the simple words, I'm sorry. But you need to mean it, otherwise it won't mean anything. The apology language number two would be accepting responsibility which could sound like I was wrong or when you represent an organization you would say we were wrong. Number three would be genuine repentance which basically is more than just saying I'm sorry we were wrong it, it is actually now saying that you will do your best that it won't happen again. In a, in a company context or organizational context it, it could be something like you know what, we, we will look and reevaluate our processes and see where we can improve so that we can ensure that it won't happen again. Or in a personal context, just say, I will try to never do it again. The language number four would be requesting forgiveness. For some people, it's very important that you give them a chance to actually forgive you. And they would wait for the words, would you please forgive me? And then finally, apology in, um, language number five would be uh, more than just asking forgiveness and, and uh, saying I'm sorry. It is all about restitution. Basically the question, what can I do to make it right? Or in an organizational context, what can we do to make it up to you? If we learn to be quick to apologize instead of starting to blame others, and if we practice the five languages of apology, we will find that it will be much more likely for people to accept our apology, extend forgiveness, and for relationships, be it business or personal, to be restored. What they don't tell you about leadership, a series of encouragement for practicing leaders.